What is going on guys? This is Matt Horner from Sports Mockery bringing you another video here to the channel. So Justin Fields, the newest Chicago Bear who we drafted about a week ago, uh, he has been drawing some comparisons to uh, naturally anytime a quarterback gets drafted, everybody likes to draw comparisons to who they compare to in the NFL today. Uh, you know, the similar style of play, uh, career arc, uh, you know, how they performed in college, and, and so on and so on. So, uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to tell you who he compares to, at least to me, and uh, a lot of other people as well have been comparing him to this player, uh, too. So, it's just not me, and I'm going to tell you why Justin Fields is actually better than this guy uh, <laughs> through college. Uh, and with his intangibles and everything like that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, a lot of people are comparing Justin Fields uh, to Cam Newton. Now you might think, oh, Cam Newton, oh, oh dear God, please no, not Cam Newton, anybody but Cam. We don't want him, right? Uh, because he was so terrible last year for the New England Patriots. But Cam's a former NFL MVP. If you guys uh, forget, in 2015, he led the Carolina Panthers to the Super Bowl and was the NFL MVP that year. So it's really not all that bad. Uh, but he's been in the NFL now, you know, 11 years, guys. So, you know, he's kind of he's kind of taking a nosedive uh, from where he was. But at one point, he was one of the most electrifying players in the league. Uh, so, you know, you can't just draw comparisons to last year with the Patriots and how bad he was. Uh, you know, it was bad, but uh, for most of his career, he was an electric type of player. Now, Justin Fields, uh, when, you, when you look at how they throw the ball, uh, Fields is more of a natural thrower uh, than Cam has ever been. Cam's never been really a natural pocket passer type of guy. He's always been a guy who's, you know, going to run it, roll out of the pocket, that type of thing. Fields... He can throw it from the pocket. Now, you would think the way he, he runs, he ran a 4-4-1-40 4, 4, uh, compared to Cam's 4.59 at the Combine back in 2010 before he got drafted number one overall by the Panthers. Fields ran a 4-4-1, so obviously he can run really fast, <laughs> super fast, but he can also throw it from the pocket. He had 3,200 yards in his sophomore year uh, at Ohio State, which is more than Cam had in his senior year at Auburn uh, that year, his final year in college. So uh, Justin Fields can throw from the pocket. He's not a strictly just type of run and gun type of guy. Uh, in his sophomore year, he had 41 touchdowns to three interceptions, which is insane. Justin Fields uh, in his sophomore year, 41 TDs to three picks. I mean, you know, you really can't ask a guy to do any better than that. Uh, 41 touchdowns is actually more than Cam Newton had in his entire college playing career so i mean like you know that's that's pretty good right i mean <laughs> that's good stuff right there uh fields completed 70 percent of his throws as well if you're a fan of completion percentage guy out of the pocket 70 percent of his throws cam completed 55 percent which is why a lot of people doubted him uh coming into the draft in 2010 because he didn't have a very high completion percentage he's never been a really high completion percentage type of guy but there's that the most Fields has ever had is six interceptions as a as a uh, college player. Uh, Cam had seven in one of his years, so Fields has the advantage there as well. Um, and of course, Fields last year played in a conference in the Big Ten that had three top ten defenses in college football. So, you know, he's 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 proven it. He's played in a big time conference against big time defenses. Uh, you know, he had to beat Clemson, and he played against Alabama in the national championship game. So he has pedigree. He's played in big games, and he's played against big-time defenses. Now, of course, another comparison you'll see uh, with Cam Newton and Justin Fields is the fact that neither of them have been really great at processing and getting the ball out super quick. Uh, Fields is going to need to work on that, as Cam has had to in the NFL. And uh, as well... Taking unnecessary hits, sort of a thing like Mike Vick, Cam, they, they take unnecessary hits and stuff like that. Fields does the same thing when he gets out to run, so he's going to have to patch that up as well. But there you go, guys. Cam Newton, I think, is, is really a close comparison, but Fields has been better. Fields has been electric, and uh, I really think he can have a more successful career than Cam Newton when all is said and done, which is pretty impressive seeing as how Cam won the NFL the MVP one year so. That is it, guys. I will see all of you next time here on the channel. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel as we'll have more awesome content coming your way in the future. Uh, I'll see you all next time and uh, have a great rest of your day, guys.